M0FXP, welcome to my channel. Just going to show you how to set up the GD88 with open spot 3 or 4. It's very similar. Now, the, op the open spot part is actually the easier part. The harder part is the code plug. So, here's the code plug. Now, I use MM7DBT, and I will put a link in the description for using that software for doing your code plug because it's a lot easier. And I'm a big fan of this of this software so let's just show you my settings right so fire it up and I mean it's confused when you first see this you'll think it's confusing but look at the tabs here at the top you obviously need to have your USB cable connected in the the driver for, for the USB cable let's turn that down so go to zones and if you haven't already got a zone double click here I'll right click on the left here right click and rename the zone and call it open spot okay so once you've done that the channels in that zone will already be in front of you I've only I only use two channels so if you look at channel number two here the top one double click my frequency on my open spot is 433900 TXRX then you select digital choose your power level nothing else selected here but you can copy mine because they do work RX, TX, or time slots, should I say, time slot one or two. If you're using a simplex hotspot, always select on. If you're using a duplex hotspot or repeater, then select the time slot that it should be. Then it's color code one, but you know, it might be different for what you're setting up, but on mine it's always one. And then the important one is contact. So local is actually talk group number nine. If you don't know how to set up contacts, Let's show you. So let's have a look here. At the top here, you've got the word, we're in zones and channels right at the end. But at the top here, we've got the word contact. So double click that. These are basically talk group numbers. And it's almost treated like a phone number. You've got your DMR number and talk groups have got their number. So like, for example, worldwide here is 91 and the local one, which is the one I like to use with the open spot three is called is number nine. Nine really is a link between the radio and the hotspot. Then the hotspot does all the work. So it's a local link. It's almost like imagine an invisible wire between you and the hotspot. That's what nine does where regarding the talk group numbers, for example, two, three, five, oh, here, when you key the mic, it will it will tell the hotspot whether it's a pie star or open spot to go to talk group number two whatever you've got here so the important bit is actually the number dmr id not the name the number if that's wrong it won't work and nearly all of them are group a group call so just select group so if we just add one now for example we'll just right click add a contact we'll choose one at random we'll just go and I'll use the, the contact name as, as the same number. So we'll go 789, just for example. But you could call that a name, like you could say, oh, local um, club, Western Super Mayor. But anyway, 789. Um, but the important one is the actual contact number ID. So we're going to go 789. In your case, you're going to need 9 and call it local. And then group. Okay. And that's it. You can... Uh, keep that one and I think the way you keep it is you, you just click it out there you are click it out it's there 789 you've created a contact so you need that so go back to zones and channels and if we double click one of the channels here and I've created one here and I, I want to have contact worldwide which is 90 if you look here on the left before it was 91 so you just click that and you go down to worldwide which is 91 that's why I tend to normally put a number next to the name so you, you can recognize it better. But you get the idea. You need the contact, you need the frequency, you need the type of contact, which is digital or analog, and then you need the, the time slots here. I think pretty much that's, that's it. So that's your channel created. Once you've created that, write it to the radio. So you've written it to the radio. Now in your open spot, it's nice and easy. You just go use the quick setup. I always use this method. Go quick setup. Then choose DMR radio if you're on a DMR, but if you want to cross mode, choose, uh, no, first of all, you always choose the radio you're on. So you go quick setup, you're on a DMR radio. Then you've got your frequency at the top. So mine is 433900, you can change that. 
then if you're staying on Brandmeister, which we are, you click Brandmeister. But if you want, it's at this point you can cross mode, so you can choose reflectors, you can choose um, YSF, FCS, D Star, you name it. It's all here. You can choose it. Okay. Now, but we're going to choose Brandmeister because we're staying on DMR like so. And then what you do is in this section you choose the server. All all DMR has. There are hundreds of servers around the world. In the UK, I like to use United Kingdom 2341, and that you put your call sign and your DMR number and your password. Your password is something you get. If you're using Brandmeister UK, you need to get that from Brand from Brandmeister. I'll show you how. So we're on the Brandmeister site now. You can create your account. When you log in, you'll, you'll, have, you'll, you'll see this. Log in. And then you'll go click back on your name and go to self-care. This is self-care. And in the self-care, scroll down. It's basically a password, so people can't use your DMR ID. In the bottom section here, put a, a word in that you're going to remember, like strawberries, and then save it. And you're going to need that. So we don't need to be on that page anymore. We'll go back to the open spot. And in this here, where it says server password, put in strawberries there. And then, then, then click where you want it to go. We're not using the radio at this point. We're using the open spot to, to choose where we go and click it. And here you could either type text or a number and you'll be able to choose where you go. You have to get used to it, but you click the gray square and that's it. Then you hit connect and you'll hear the radio connecting. You do need you do need a good internet connection. The other thing you should be able to do, I'm not saying it always works, is you in your back in your code plug, one channel we created is ninety one. You can on your radio, turn your radio to ninety one, key the mic. Now watch the display. I'm just keying the mic. Watch the display on the open spot. And it should tell it there you are to go to ninety one, which it has done. See ninety one? So you can you can move around using the radio or the open spot. So I think I've covered everything. Any questions at all, just message me. It's a great radio. I've put link in for the open spot and for the MM7 DBT. And I always say thanks to David for this code plug because it is so good. And it's got all my APRS settings, dual, dual hotspot settings. I'll just show you my APRS because I think a lot of people are having problems with APRS. So just click here, APRS, and just screenshot this. The top section is my analog APRS, and the lower section is my digital APRS. And some of the settings are the same anyway. And what else should we show you? APRS, and then is there radio settings, menu settings? No, you don't need that. Other settings, DMR settings, APRS. You can change all the buttons here, look, when you click different parts, you can change the buttons. The, the red button is the button you're changing. See that? It's very cool. Create contacts and groups. So that's it. So thanks for watching my channel. And 7-3, uh, catch you on air. All the best. Please remember to subscribe and like.